Hello everyone, this is Akuchi. I'm uh, commentating a match in the Finicky Mix tournament between Terry Cubist and JM Claus. This is a quarterfinals match. Uh, I am not prepared for commentary in the sense that I haven't watched any of the other matches in this tournament so far. I don't even know if they're playing to 2.5 or 3.5 wins, so I'm going to find that out as we go. Uh, the premise of this tournament I am familiar with, and it is that the plus actions are finicky in some way, shape, or form. So here we have Acting Troop and Snowy Village and Taskmaster. Three of them, but uh, none of them super straightforward. The combination of all three should make this pretty easy to get the plus actions you need. Although Taskmaster looks pretty weak with Distant Lands as the only $5 Kingdom card. <clears throat> so both players start with Magpie and City Gate. They have the 4-3. So Piazza on turn 3 from JM Claus, that um, is optimistic. I've had some real bad luck with Piazza recently. Turquibus gets the duplicate, which doesn't look great to me here because, I don't know, like, there's not really expensive stuff to duplicate. I mean, it is, like, fine as a single terminal, but... Is that better than getting Ranger first, the way Jam Claus did? Unclear. <clears throat> so this village is... Eh, this kingdom is missing trashing. Uh, if, there, if it weren't for Distant Lands and Fairgrounds, I'd say... It might not even be worth playing with, like, Ranger and plus actions. But... I guess Duplicate is pretty useful to gain the distant lands and fairgrounds in bulk. Neither care that neither player has picked up any source of plus actions yet, so Let's see when that happens. Snowy Village looks like the one to get. Especially for Terra Cubist who doesn't have plus buy at this point. So the magpies are gone. And uh, Terry Cubist revealed three things that uh, would have gained them magpies. No dice. There's the snowy village. A little bit awkward for magpie. You might have a situation where you like have to play the snowy village to keep drawing, and then you do run out of actions. Jim Claus, did they never like play that ranger, or they haven't played it twice? I haven't. They're playing a little too fast for me to to pay attention. Piazza. I don't know how often that Piazza. Oh, Piazza with City Gate. That is a pretty nice synergy. That's another form of plus actions. So yeah, that turn three piazza. <clears throat> I like a lot, a lot more knowing, being familiar with the synergy. So what's gonna happen in this game? I don't know if anybody's gonna get Taskmaster. That would definitely signal a desire to get distant lands or an intention to get distant lands.
Fairgrounds, it's not even trivial to get it to be up to 4 VP, and getting up to 5 seems not... Like, you have to work really hard for that. <laughs> like, I don't expect... Like, Poorhouse looks really bad. Acting Troop doesn't stay in your deck. So what does that mean? That means you can get... 8... Yeah, you have to either get a Curse or one of those two cards to get up to 15 Uniques. In addition to Gold and Duchy and, and Silver. A little bit tricky. I mean, you need to... Yeah, I'm a little surprised you even... Yeah, it seems a little weird to play the Snowy Village before the at least one of those acting troops to be able to get another villager or two, because you could have been able to put Duplicate on the map. <clears throat> Strange choice. So is... I guess Jam Claws is the one without a silver. Are they ever going to get any more money? They also didn't get their journey token down, which is pretty awkward. Cherry Cubist, meanwhile, has their own form of awkwardness. Oh, 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 okay, that's much less awkward. Piazza, to the rescue. Being able to play Ranger for draw before then. If I were Terra Cubist, I'd want to get mm, two Rangers, I think. <clears throat> Maybe something else. Maybe two Rangers and an Acting Troop? I like having... Okay, well, I don't like that. I'd rather have two Rangers and one and one Taskmaster, no? But yeah, I, I would like some Villagers as Terra Cubist. I guess Piazza gives you a little bit of... that flexibility. Mm, pretty good turn from Jam Claws, considering... Oh, they started. Double gold, okay. But three rangers is a weird number to have, and both players have exactly that number. Seems strange to me. So the double taskmaster obviously means we're going to be expecting distant lands here. Yeah, this is where it would have been nice to have Hacking Troop. Uh, there's no Ranger down there in those six cards. So maybe you gotta have to play this Ranger. It's kind of awkward regardless. What's down there? You've got two Estates and two Copper and a Silver. And a Duplicate, apparently. <clears throat> Please buy a ranger. Although, having three rangers when you're... I don't like all those duplicates. It's like it's very likely that Terra Cubist can, would dud. I mean, not with this starting hand. It looks pretty good, but in general. This is, like, really close to over. 
Jam Claw should probably get a fairgrounds now. Whorehouse to boost fairgrounds. Well, that does mean it's very unlikely for Terry Cubas to win here. Kind of sort of saved Terry Cubist. Kind of sort of not, because there's just one ranger down there. It's just very bad to have so few rangers. Terry Cubist also didn't get to play their distant land, so... I don't know, I think they're just in a bad spot. <clears throat> Not enough rangers. And I would have liked to have an acting troop. That's my verdict. Yep, that's the easy one. What now? Do you lower? Do you get something like... Okay, you get Taskmaster. Whatever. I think it's highly unlikely that Terry Cubist has a good turn. But maybe Jam Claus can just win here. I haven't calculated it out. Okay, that's two on the mat, which is enough to buy duplicates. So do they have... Yeah. Nope, one coin short. Oh, that's that's tragic. <laughs> one coin short of ending it. That does make things complicated. Sure. Yeah, seems reasonable. Got the villagers. I like that line. Some calculation there. Yeah, like that's it. Seems over. Hmm. Wow. That's unlucky. Not like super duper unlucky, but pretty unlucky. Should work. Still like Terra Cubit's position. Excuse me, uh, JM Claus's position. But it's games lasted longer than I expected. That's a lot of magpies not hitting. Alright, what's Terracubus play here? Lowering fairgrounds is dangerous.
get a province here. <clears throat> Seems okay. We gotta get points somehow. How likely is it for Jam Claus to win? An in interesting duchy and a vagrant. I wonder why. I wonder what was going through Terry Cubis head there. <laughs> they already had the vagrant, so in terms of like making fairgrounds worth more. So here, yeah, here you just win. Excellent. All right, that's one for Jam Claus. Um, Terracuba start even. Here we have uh really Ooh, never mind. I was gonna say this is really awkward plus actions, but then I saw delay. Delay helps a ton here. With wharf and barge. And of course there's landing party, which you play with, but they eventually go away. Unless there are tricks I don't think there are tricks. No, and then there's like ghost potential, but ghost through exorcist is not very exciting, in my opinion. I don't even think I'd play with exorcist. Probably just open Forager Remake, I think. Get a silver later. I want to get Wharf, Artisan, all the stuff. Do lots of delaying. Sculptor can give some villagers, which is nice. Remake, silver for both players. Okay. I, I feel like Forager's... There's a case for that, but... It works out. For Terra Cubist, like hitting five there. Yeah, probably worth it. Oh, Jam Claus bought a silver? I definitely don't like that. I want a forager. I mean, way the pigs in the kingdom, so you never need to play the forager if you don't want to. Wait, Jam Claus? Yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. Picked up the artisan when they had the opportunity. That makes sense. Alright, second forager for Terra Cubist. Finally! No, third, through all the foragers for Terra Cubist. Interesting. Uh huh. We're going to delay. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, interesting. But this looks great. You can buy an artisan as Terra Cubist. While trashing. Maybe they're thinking about turning the silver into a landing party and buying a five cross card. You can do that, but I want the artisan. I guess you could also delay. No, you don't have plus. Yeah, you do have plus five. Okay. I don't know why you'd do that. Yeah, I'm wondering what the holdup is here. Oh, they already have an artisan. It all makes sense to me now. The curtain has been revealed. So what do we do here? We could go double landing party. I don't hate that. No, just Artisan, which is fine, but you can't play them this turn, so. You're going to have to be doing some delaying. Delaying tactics. Uh, no plus buy, which is sad. I think two is the right number of artisans to have in this kingdom. Feels good to me. Three seems very greedy. Are we ever going to play these foragers? There we go. Okay. Kind of like a sculptor, yeah. I like a villager. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Fine, because there's way of the pig. Wow, and Jam Claus has two estates left. Okay, third artisan, I'm not on board. Yeah, this sure looks like you don't have plus actions. Wouldn't it be nice to play? Oof. Yeah, with a landing party. That's what I was getting at. Mm hmm. I like those gains. Wow! No, no, don't like that. Nope, don't like it. Or artisans, that's like I have academy kind of play, not not I have finicky villages kind of play. Oh, that's an upgrade. I wonder what that's gonna do. Forger into landing party? It looks pretty good. Remake into Sculptor? That looks okay. Or actually, remake into Upgrade. Then you can upgrade the Forager into Landing Party. You definitely don't need all those Foragers. One is probably enough. Yeah, 
So yeah, I like I like upgrade remake into upgrade. Draw it with a forager. Yeah, I don't I sure don't like that. What is going on here? Why are we playing a billion foragers? Could have upgraded the remake, upgraded the forager. Man, it would have just been good. Could have gained another sculptor off the artisan if you wanted to, which I think is fine. Seems pretty good. Well, maybe artif artisan or artificer. I'm not sure. This is weird stuff. I think it's weird. There's like so much more that upgrade could have done. Don't you like want some silvers? Oh, now you get an upgrade. The sculptor. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Okay, well, whatever. They they want this game to end really fast, I guess. It just seems really... I don't know. Maybe I'm just a frightened, easily frightened Dominion player, but... It can't be best for both players to be going whole ham on the artisans. Like, it can't be. Somebody's got to be like, hey, I'm going to buy provinces, and then what are you going to do? Like, what the heck is this play? Can't Terracubus win? They got the upgrades. They can upgrade the foragers into landing parties. I guess they don't have the actions, though. Yeah, they're kind of screwed on actions. Hmm. This is why it'd be nice to have a villager, which you could have done if you'd played the sculptor, but here we are. Ooh, plays Wharf as Way of the Pig in order to get the plus actions. Mm. Okay. Bold. It's bold. Uh, as artisan, don't you just need to gain landing party? I feel like you just have to suck it up and do that. You've got one more upgrade. Oh, where'd that landing party come from? Oh, it just it happened to be drawn with wharf. That's fortuitous. I guess you can just... Um, what's the word? Pig some stuff until you draw it, since you know it's it's down there. Do you have the gains? It's pretty close, right? Yeah, you've got it. You've got it. Artisan for Wharf. Play landing party, remake forger into landing party, remake whatever. Orph into gold, play remake. Wait, no, never mind. Whatever, play something to draw that gold by. I don't know. It's all at it all. It all works, right? Maybe it's fine to get a landing party also, because you can remake that. 
Although... No, 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 no. You want to remake Forager until any party. That's important. Uh-huh, yeah, I like it. That'll do it. Yeah, not the way I would have played it, but uh, it worked. It just seems so nerve-wracking. Why not? Why not buy some green cards? Like you're pushed right to the edge. Maybe maybe Terracubus likes that sensation. So it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, Finicky. We have a Necropolis. And we have a Madman. Yikes. And we have Scepter. But yikes. Scepter can't play horses. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Probably maybe annoying? Uh, unclear. Alright, so Hermit Cavalry. There's maybe something there. Where you can... Is there something there? Yeah, so potentially something you can do is end all your buy phases with cavalry. And then, like, buy nothing in the second buy phase, and I think that converts hermits to madman? Madmen? I don't know. Uh, of course, this is only available while supplies last. Eventually, the cavalry's run out. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I would open Hermit Clerk, though. Those are both good cards. What kind of five would I want if I have the opportunity to get it? And there's also like a messenger cleric opportunity, but man, action space is so limited. I don't think. Do I want a messenger? It does provide plus buy, which you don't need anytime soon. I don't know if you really ever need it. This is awkward. What's the verdict? Cavalry. Okay. Eh, I don't like mirrors. I want somebody to open clerk. Tercubus deciding whether or not they want to trigger a shuffle. They decide not to trigger the shuffle. A reasonable choice. Okay. That's pretty nice. Gain Hermit, play Cavalry. Wait, does that not work? It does. Why does that work? By phase, okay. Wait, did... Man, I don't know what's going on. The 
jam claws. Big madman. My B, Terracuba says. Ah, Spec Chad was visible. Okay. What now? Since Scepter time. I, I, I have no idea what this kingdom is doing. I'm going to be completely honest with you. What are you doing with a displace, Cave of Sapien? No, oh, Cave's not in chat, or in uh, the voice channel. Man, I have no idea what's going on in this game. <laughs> What? What a madman. What a madman. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I I it's fine. I just don't know where you go from here. I have no idea how to make your deck good in this game. That's all the copper. What does that mean? I sure do not know. Who makes these boards? It's a combination of Donald X Vaccarino and the random number generator. These mixes are chosen by Donald X, set of like 75, I think, car kingdom cards. And, uh... Displace Cavalry, okay. Seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. Look at this. Terracubist and Cavo Sapien are on the same wavelength. Of course, the awkward thing is here. Um, you have to play the Madman. 
before you play Displace, so... You can at least play the horse after playing one... Like, play Madman. You have a choice, then. You have to play either Hermit or Displace. I think I'd rather gain and play the Hermit. That seems correct to me. Well, that was really lucky to draw that madman. I mean, it'd be more lucky to draw a horses into madman, but isn't that the only madman? No, there's one more. There's one more. No. Yeah, I don't know. This board is weird. So this can be Hermit gaining Hermit. Or Cavalry gaining Horses. Probably probably that one. Ooh, maybe you don't need to do that. The Necropolis seems unnecessary. Maybe it's, maybe it's necessary. Play Hermit and Cavalry, sure. Do it. Mm-hmm. I think you stop here. I think I'd stop here. Messenger, do some stuff, and then buy whatever it is you want to buy. I think it's weird nobody, nobody got a clerk. Clerk seems good to me. Does that make sense? I don't think it makes sense. Like, why are you... What are you even... Oh, are you going to Scepter and Necropolis? Because that's hilarious. Oh, you are. Okay. That's a wild scepter. We're going to displace a gold. Or are we going to play the cavalry? It's kind of nice to have horses, I think. Hagler. Okay, Hagler's pretty nice. I see that. It'd be nice to have horses, too. Wow, what a weird situation Jam Claus is in. I actually I have no idea what their deck is, so Well, fun's not completely over. 
Jam Claws can't buy that last cavalry, so I think I would want to actually get the Madman as Jam Claws. Well, I guess they disagree. I feel like I'd really want a Madman. Why pass up the Madman for two horses? That doesn't seem correct. That does not seem correct to me. Wow, that's a really important horse for Terracubus, too. Hagler. Them and the cavalries are gone. I don't think the deck control is there. A lot of scepters. Didn't you need to scepter a necropolis? Wasn't that important? Hmm. I don't know. What do you even buy here? This place... I mean, you probably just want one, and then use scepters on the rest. Okay. Enjoy your silver. No permit. Ah! Did Terracubus know they had a madman there? Guess it's fine. It's not great. But it's fine. What do you want... Whoa. What do you want to trash? Or do you want... What do you want to gain here? Is what I mean to say. Silver. Okay. All right, one madman left in both decks. Oh, interesting. Errated Hagler. All right, so you've got the scepter. So you can scepter gold into something and then province into gold, which is cool. If you want the gold back. I don't even know if you do. Probably you do. Maybe. Could get a displays. But maybe you want the gold. You probably want the gold. Oh, that works too. Yeah, yeah, you don't want a displace. You want to pair displace with scepters. That makes sense. I mean, good luck. <laughs> Good luck. This is a whole lot of not drawing cards going into Terracubus. Shuffle. Because the cavalry is not paired with Scepter, so what are you going to do? You don't want to discard with the Messenger. Maybe there's some horses? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hmm, interesting choice. That choice makes sense now. I did not see that win. Good on uh, Terra Cubist.
That surprised me. Excuse me. Oh, it must be so frustrating to see bridge in this in this mix. It can be done with prepare. What's what's reckless? Duplicate, who cares about that? That <laughs> does nothing. Wait, does that literally do nothing? That's hilarious. Unless when you call it, then duplicate goes away. Okay, so what are we doing here? We're probably doing prepare or not plenty, I would imagine. Because bridge is just too action intensive. You've got diplomat stuff too, but that's a big anti synergy with um, everything else in the kingdom. Like literally everything else in the kingdom. Both players have 5 2, which is wild. Jam Claws sets aside 4. I don't know about that. I guess it's fine. I don't know about that. I, I don't like it all that much. Let's see what the plan is here. I guess it all kind of works out. Crystal Ball. Is that the only trashing? That's pretty awkward. In a crossroads. I'm getting grotto number three. Hmm. Nope, getting a crossroads. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Yep. Yeah. Wait, no, not Artisan? We have the Crossroads. Hmm. I think I would have gone with Artisan. Looks like a one Artisan board to me. Especially with Crystal Ball. Because you can set up what Crystal Ball plays. Yeah, I like an Artisan there. This Crossroads is not likely to draw. I mean, it's never drawing in this turn. But in general, it's not likely to draw. It's a weird situation. Cuba says too much draw. They need some payload. So do you set aside one card or more? I don't know. I don't know. It's a tricky spot. Oh, never mind. It's not tricky at all. They already set aside their stuff. What are we waiting for? Alright, choosing not to play the war. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. I think I I think I'm I'm following. I follow. Alright. Pop. For a jam clause. Yeah, I would have picked up an artist on there on the previous turn. Do you get a second crossroads? That's a tough call in this kingdom. You can like potentially prepare it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm curious to see what Terra Cubis gets with this artisan. Crystal Ball makes sense, but... Ooh. 
We're going for horn. So we can play with one more wharf pair. But just one more. And then you need some more variety. So I kind of like the crystal ball. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to keep the estate there for crossroads reasons. For sure, set aside four cards. No reason not to. What? You don't need two artisans. Please don't get two artisans. Unless... Why on earth would you not set aside an extra copper, Terracubist? You can horn for Artisan, right? You had enough uniques. I'm pretty sure you had enough uniques. Crossroads, Grotto, Dwarf, Copper, Artisan, Horn. That's six uniques. Could have set aside an extra card. I'm very displeased. See, this is where Crystal Ball would really appreciate an artisan, you know? I don't know why Jam Claws didn't get one. I don't know about Terracubus getting two artisans. That seems, um, wrong. Like, how is that ever better than a Horn of Plenty? Actually, I'm genuinely shocked. I, I don't understand it. I mean, mid-turn gaining, I guess. But you can't take advantage of that very well, can you? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, and now both players have two artisans. These these guys really love their artisans, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Game two, they gained like four artisans where I thought two is appropriate, and in this game, they're gaining two at least where I think one is appropriate. Yeah, are you think, are you wondering now how you're gonna actually draw your deck with two artisans in it? Sense that I'm wondering. How important is it to win the horn split? I feel like five might be enough. If you just get six provinces in one turn, yeah, you pretty much won, I think. But having four horns, that's not really possible. So I think winning the horn split is like slightly good, but not critical. But making sure you don't lose is pretty important, but again, not like completely the end of the world. All right, well, this is a good prepare, I think. All right, is... Uh... Terracubus is going to do any preparing. 
I feel like this could be a really strong turn with prepare, right? You get like a wharf here as Terracubus, play it. Get the rest of the horn to plenties. And then prepare whatever. Maybe it's not a I mean you're just preparing an artisan at that point. And whatever you draw, which mm, Oh, that's a grotto. You really e Okay, you can crystal ball into Grotto. If you draw with Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you need to gain a wharf and play it in order to be able to sh to be sure you can hit your Grotto. I mean or you can artisan for a grotto. That seems worse. Way worse to me. So yeah, I think we artisan for wharf regardless. I don't think we're going to get, like, a sneaky pile-out thing. At least I sure hope not. Horns are going to empty. Wharfs might be low, but probably won't empty. And I don't see any third pile that should go below six. I mean, it's, it's definitely possible for somebody to get a third grotto at a certain point in time. A lot of thinking here. Nope, don't like that decision. No grotto. I think I like a prepare here, just to prepare two copper and a gold. I mean, what else are you going to do? No, what are you doing? What? Whoa! What a wacky play! What a wacky play. Can Jam Claws just win here? I, I'm okay. This order seems a little off, right? Because why not gain the Duchy with Artisan before playing Crossroads so you can draw an extra card? That's my thought. I don't know. Bridge. Okay. What's going on here? What do you need? You would have needed... Five... How many duchies? Uh, at least four duchies and three provinces. So if you had gone to try to maximize gains here, could it have worked? Artisan gaining duchy or duchy equivalent. You'd have two of those. You'd have the horns gaining three provinces, one duchy, and then would you have enough to buy? Yeah, without the grotto thing. Sure. So could you have got there? Four duchies and three provinces. That equals 30. Yeah, you totally could have won this turn. No, 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 no! What are you doing? No. Anyways, Jam Claus could have won this turn.
That's sad. Hmm. Anyways, some duchies are being gained, whatever. I, I, like, Jam Claws can't win now, because they got rid of their their hops, so. I don't know what we're doing uh, anymore. I, I don't even know, like, even if you're not winning there, why didn't Jam Claws, like, at least gain one province? If Terracubus ever gets a province, you just lost the game. Just, like, straight up. And they're not going to have an easy time getting province, so. Yeah, I, I don't know. Jam Claws just did not play that to win. Wait, what happened here? Did our opponent... Wait, it's our opponent. Did Jam Claws not even play a crossroads? What is happening? Okay. What? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. They prepared a horn of plenty. <laughs> uh, it's not half BP yet. Not as long as Jam Claus has two estates, but... One estate should do it for Terracubist. I think they'll be able to manage that. And obviously two estates is super duper winning. These artisans are uh, pretty bad when they can't gain <laughs> duchies or horned plenties. Hello? Hello? Jesus Christ, I didn't expect to be so loud. Are you uh, watching the Terracubus Jam Claws game? Yeah, why? Hmm? Oh, just uh, making sure we're on the, the same page. Would you like to co commentate? Nah, I don't usually commentate, I just like to watch. Oh, okay. Well, feel free to mute yourself. Uh, I'm currently recording the commentary. I don't mind, I'll be quiet. Okay. Yep, yeah, so that's game. That is over half VP. Alright, so that's 3 1 for Terra Cubist. I don't actually know whether that's the threshold for winning. Let's see if they keep playing. Nope. All right. I think it's over. So congratulations to Terra Cubist for advancing to the semifinals of this tournament. Again, I didn't do my Yo. research, so I don't know who they'll be facing next, but uh, can look forward to that game in the future. All right. See you all later.